Welcome everyone. Uh, in this video, we will be continuing our discussions on ISO 31000, which is a standard for uh, risk management. In particular, we will be talking about event trees and decision trees as two important uh, uh, risk assessment uh, tools. We are following uh, the procedure prescribed on ISO 31000 here. Uh, the standard definition of risk scenario is uh, related to an event with some uh, undesirable impact on project objectives and then risk assessment uh, uh, is uh, an important tool to quantify and uh, understand the likelihood and consequence of uh, those risk scenarios. Uh, risk assessment is uh, often done in different application fields including engineering and finance. There are um, a number of uh, techniques that we can use to analyze uh, complex uh, failure situations and uh, cause-consequence modeling is one of them. Two important tools under this uh, uh, category of techniques are fault trees and event trees. Event trees uh, often trace uh, the component failures of a complex system and uh, they consider logical combinations uh, that uh, can exist to uh, uh, follow through the uh, sequence of possible outcomes. Event trees uh, uh, use uh, Boolean uh, logic. Uh, so as can be seen, uh, there are uh, two branches uh, for each event. Uh, S uh, stands for success and F for failure. And uh, we know that uh, probability of failure is one minus uh, uh, probability of success. So we can uh, form event trees uh, using uh, this uh, Boolean logic. The steps to uh, define uh, event trees uh, can be uh, uh, specified in here. First, we need to identify the initial event. And uh, then in the second step, uh, we focus uh, on uh, creating a list of intermediate events. Okay. Uh, starting with uh, the initial event, uh, we need to create two branches for success and failure. Then we continue this for other uh, intermediate uh, events in step four. In step five, we continue the process until all intermediate uh, events are uh, exhausted. And finally, we have uh, a list of branches showing the final possible outcome for the initial uh, event and uh, our event tree is uh, ready to be used. There are uh, important rules that need uh, to be considered when uh, creating event trees. For branches, uh, only one outcome can occur on a single branch and uh, probabilities across uh, branches uh, can be summed up. Uh, the second uh, important rule is um, focusing on the conditional nature of probabilities and uh, the fact that um, uh, chance for an event uh, depends on all events uh, on the pathway to the left of it. Uh, and uh, we can uh, multiply uh, probabilities along uh, pathways. Uh, we will have examples shortly and to discuss this. And the third rule is sum of probabilities across all branches are always equal to one. Here is a, a fault tree example. As you can see, the initiating event that we are considering is a fire or a risk of fire. And there are a couple of uh, uh, intermediate events, including um, the controls that we have in here, uh, stopping uh, uh, fuel feed uh, to the engine and uh, the second control is uh, the fire suppression system. Uh, for each uh, event we have success and failure uh, specified and we know uh, that uh, probability of failure is always on minus probability of uh, success. Another example uh, in here, uh, we are looking at um, failure for uh, different components of a brake system. The initial event is the brake sensor. Uh, there are um, probabilities for uh, 
uh, failure and non-failure, 20% chance of failure, and 80% uh, of non-failure for the brake sensor. The next uh, event is the brake uh, controller, and uh, we have 10% uh, chance of failure and 90% uh, chance of non-failure. Uh, same story with actuator with 25% uh, failure chance and 75% uh, 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 non-failure chance and we can uh, look at the results. So if uh, we want uh, the brake to uh, operate successfully, uh, we need uh, all subcomponents uh, sub to uh, operate uh, successfully, so non-failure is our target. So the brake sensor should not fail, so we are in the bottom branch. The brake controller should not fail, we are on the bottom branch, and the actuator should not fail, again, the bottom branch. So the success probability for brake engagement is 0.8 from the first uh, um, initial event times 0.9, which is related to non-failure chance of brake controller times 0.75, uh, which is the non-failure chance of actuator. You can pause the video and uh, calculate this again for yourself. There is another example in here. Um, an earthquake um, is our initial event, and there are three uh, possibilities of having low magnitude, 99% uh, chance, moderate magnitude of earthquake with 0.9% chance, and high magnitude of earthquake, which is 0.1%. The next uh, intermediate uh, list of events, uh, no damage if uh, there is low ma magnitude, and uh, for each moderate and high magnitude, we have three possibilities with the uh, uh, chances associated with them. <clears throat> At last, we have uh, the chance of uh, uh, life loss uh, and uh, the numbers are specified in black on the very right hand side of this uh, diagram. The question here is <clears throat> the probability uh, of life loss uh, that is caused by non-structural damage. If you look at the middle branch, uh, moderate magnitude, there is non-structural damage in there and we can multiply 0.9% by 0.93. And there is another non-structural damage on the bottom branch. So again, we multiply 0.1% and 0.86. The summation of two values from the middle branch and the bottom branch for non-structural damage will be the response to this particular uh, question. Again, I encourage you to pause the video and uh, have a calculation of this for yourself. Let's look at another practice um, example, uh, same uh, uh, event tree related to the earthquake. This time uh, we are looking at uh, building damage and we want to understand the probable number of uh, lives lost uh, because of uh, building damage. Uh, we can see that there is a building damage uh, under moderate uh, magnitude in the middle uh, branch of this uh, tree, and there is another one uh, building damage in the bottom uh, branch. Uh, this time, because the uh, consequence or the number of lives lost is the objective of the question, you should also multiply uh, the probabilities by the numbers. So I start with uh, the building damage under moderate magnitude. Probabilities are 0.9% times uh, 0 0.02. And then the uh, number is 10,000. So multiplied by 10,000. And it is uh, added to uh, the building damage uh, consequence from the bottom row. Uh, first probabilities, uh, we need to multiply 0.1% by uh, 0 0.04, then times uh, the life loss of 17,000. Uh, then the two figures are added, and uh, the number of uh, lives lost uh, because of building damage can be uh, calculated. Again, you can pause the video, think about this, and uh, 
develop the solution for yourself. Event trees um, are also frequently uh, used for other use cases, one of which is uh, frequency analysis. As you can see, the initiating event that we have is an electrical leakage, uh, which only has a 1% chance uh, per year. And then uh, other intermediate events with uh, associated probabilities are listed in here. And at the very right hand side of this tree, we have uh, frequencies per year calculated. Another use case um, is decision making. Uh, sometimes event trees uh, for this use case uh, are called uh, decision trees. And uh, what we are looking at in this example is an investment decision uh, for which we have three alternatives, investment one, two, or no investment at all. And for each uh, scenario, investment mob one, for example, can have high revenue or low revenue, and same situation for investment two. Then this can be the basis for decision making, and hence the name decision tree can be used in here. To recap, uh, we looked at um, two uh, uh, techniques uh, for uh, decision making in uh, previous video and uh, this video, fault trees and uh, decision trees. They are very effective for risk assessment and uh, the framework that we always use are uh, specified in ISO 31000. Thank you very much for your um, attention to this video on uh, event trees and decision trees. Uh, we will continue our uh, discussions uh, very soon.